The search is over and a legend is coming home. Timmy Chang has been named head coach of Rainbow Warrior Football and we can't wait to talk to you about it. I'm Cheyenne Sibley with your Rainbow Roundup. Despite the unwanted and unneeded drama late last week, Timmy Chang accepted the offer to become the 25th head football coach here at UH. When asked about the drama surrounding the program, Coach Chang had this to say. I've, I've left this island, but I've always paid attention to what was going on. And, um, you know, I, I think the last uh, the, the last six uh, six months or so, um, you know, there, there needs to be some healing. Um, but, you know, there also needs to be some understanding about where the direction is going and, and what we need to do. Um, and, and so the best thing we can do is, is put a product on the field that's going to win. And I think, I think, you know, I think this state's at best when we're winning football games. And so um, that's what we're going to try to do, you know. Chang was a poster child in the early 2000s for the style of football we all know and love here at UH. Manning the run and shoot, becoming the NCAA passing leader in 2004. Now at the helm of the football program, as head coach, he looks to fill his staff and bring back the excitement in 2022. Yes, Rainbow Wahine basketball is on a roll, and yes, Amy Atwell continues to be the one fanning the flames. UH swept CSU Bakersfield with games on Thursday and Saturday as Atwell became the 23rd member of the 1,000 point club for the Bows. She dropped a career high of 33 points on Saturday, notching her second game this season of 30 or more points. The Bows will now look to continue their winning ways this week as they go on the road to UC Santa Barbara and CSUN. Track and Field had their season debut this past weekend, finishing top six at the Air Force Invitational. Alyssa May Antolin improved her 200 meter dash to 25.06, so close to beating the UH record. Caitlin Simmons placed third in the triple jump, leaping 38 feet for the event. The Bows will head up to Pullman, Washington to compete in the WSU Open on February 4th. After two years of withholding the alumni game, men's volleyball alumni dating all the way back to class of 79 returned to the Simplify Arena. From Jerry Kukuruda to Colton Cowell, these Rainbow Warriors proved their volleyball genes never left. The night consists of various skills tests and of course the alumni versus current UH squad. After a fun weekend, there's nothing but work to be done as Warrior Ball will now head up to Ball State this Saturday in Muncie, Indiana with first surf set for 2 p.m. Hawaii time. It was a great weekend for men's basketball on the road, taking wins over CSU Bakersfield 63-59 and Cal Poly 69-56. Noel Coleman and Jerome DeRosier both chipped in double-digit points in both games, helping the Bows secure the fifth straight win. The Warriors will host CSUN on Thursday and UC Santa Barbara on Saturday. Come and support your Bows to help keep the streak alive. We've had some unexpected drama and we've had some devs this week. Make sure you keep supporting your Bows. I'm Shine Sibley with your Rainbow Roundup.